All right, hey, good morning. Matt Morris, mattmorris.com. Appreciate you guys hopping on. Today, we're gonna talk about what got me involved in network marketing. One of the uh, most popular questions that I get is relating to cold market prospecting. And so I'll give you guys a question that worked for me. And over the last 24 years that I've been involved in network marketing, I have used this question a ton and have been blessed to be able to personally sponsor hundreds of people from the cold market. And so this is a question that works. And so I'll give that to you. Before I do, let me know where you're tuning in from in the comments below. Let me know your city, your country. Let me know if you're watching this live or on the replay. If you are watching me for the first time, drop me a one in the comments below. If you like it, hit the like button, the heart button, or uh, if you feel like it can add some value to some others, definitely hit the share button. And listen, if you're not subscribed over at mattmorris.com, be sure and hop over there, put your name and email address in, you'll get my five day free video series along with my newsletter. So several times a week, I drop golden nuggets that will be delivered to your inbox. So what is the question? This happened when I was 18. I was working as a waiter. There was a waitress that I was working with and you know, we would, uh, she would initiate conversation and you know, we're serving dinner and we're taking plates back to the kitchen and you know, we're just small talk here and there when we have a moment, right? Um, and at one point she asked me this question. She said, have you ever thought about being in business for yourself? Have you ever thought about being in business for yourself? And I said, you know what, all the time. And uh, she, perfect segue, she said, well, write your number down and we'll talk business sometime. And long story short, she invited me the next day or two, she invited me to a hotel presentation. I saw it, I got excited, and the rest is history. So I have used this, I don't know how many times. You know, when I meet someone, I don't ask them immediately. It's not as soon as I meet them. You wanna build a little rapport first. and. You know, my rapport building strategy is pretty simple. I ask them about them. And a book that you should definitely read is How to Win Friends and Influence People. And part of being a master prospector is having people like you. And the best way to have someone like you is for you to like them, to be interested, genuinely interested in them. And so be asking them questions, you know, what do you do for a living? Oh, how long have you done that? Wow, you must love it to have been doing it that long. Sometimes that's the perfect opening. No, I don't love it. And I say, well, have you ever thought about being in business for yourself? If they say yes, I'm gonna say awesome, write your number down and we'll talk business. I'll pull out my phone and I'll open up a new contact and I just hand them my phone. I'm not gonna say, can I have your number? Because if you're asking it as a question in their mind, they might be thinking, well, maybe there's a reason why I shouldn't give this guy my phone number. So I just pull out the contact, I say, here, put your phone number in, let's talk business sometime. Uh, sometimes I'll say something like, I'm a business coach. I help people start businesses. Sometimes I'll say, listen, uh, I got a business that's growing like crazy. I'm always looking for people with sharp leadership skills. Put your number down and let's talk, okay? So that's the question. And if you ask it, here's why I like this question is because it qualifies not just interest in making money, but it really qualifies interest in them being an entrepreneur. See, I'm looking for entrepreneurs. I'm just not the one, like I'm not the one to meet someone, exchange information, and then build a relationship over the next two, three, four weeks, month, and then get around to showing them the business. Now, I know that's a strategy out there. I'm not knocking it. The way I look at it though is I don't have time to build relationships with a ton of people who aren't interested in being a business owner. Okay, so I'm looking for people who are hungry. I'm looking for people who are open-minded and I don't wanna waste any time. The other thing is I feel like if, I feel like it's uh, more in integrity if I'm just asking it right up front because if I'm saying, hey, we should get together for coffee, we should get, you know, like let's build a friendship. But really my intention is to recruit them into my business, then it feels a little incongruent. And so I'd rather just lead right up front. 
So there you go. Now, one of the things that um, I struggled with a lot is what questions do I ask? How do I, you know, how do, how do I be interested in them? How do I carry on a conversation? And the best way to carry on a conversation, and, and here, here's why it was difficult for me is because I've never been the person with the gift of gab. You know, you hear some people and they'll just talk and talk and talk and they never run out of words. Well, I was never that person. And so it was kind of intimidating for me to start conversations with random people when I felt like I didn't have the gift of gap. And so I had to learn these strategies. And I was taught form, family, occupation, recreation, and then the message or the money. And I don't know that I've ever really followed that form example exactly, but I just want to be interested in them. So what do you do for a living? Oh, wow, how long have you done that? What do you like about it? What got you, here's the question that I love, what got you into that? What got you into being an attorney? And then they're gonna tell me their backstory and people love talking about themselves, especially to someone who's genuinely interested in them. And so if you'll genuinely be interested in them and like them, find reasons to like them, then they're more likely to like you. The other thing I like to do is find commonalities. And so I'll say something like, you know, what did you do before that? And then maybe they tell me, or how'd you get interested in that? And what I'm looking for is I'm looking for something that's like a commonality, okay? Not because I wanna shift the conversation to me, but because I wanna build rapport, because people like others who are like them. And so if there are commonalities between you and your prospect, you're gonna build a bond. And part of being having a high closing ratio is having a strong bond with someone else, building a lot of rapport with someone else. And so, you know, maybe they got involved in whatever they're doing because they weren't good in school in this area. And I can relate to that. Or maybe it was something to do with their family members. And I'm looking for, oh, you know what? That's the same with my family or that I had that exact same thing happen. And listen, I'm not gonna go and talk a lot about myself. I'm just gonna build the commonality and then I'm gonna put it back on them. And so one of the things I like to say is, you know, do you have kids? Are you married, have kids? Married, have kids? And they'll say, oh yeah, I've been married for this long or I have, you know, three kids. Oh really, I have three kids. What are the ages of your kids? And they tell me the ages and I'll say, oh, you know, my kids are this age, this age, and this age. What, uh, what are your kids into? What are your kids into? See, that's one of the things that people love talking about their children, and so I'm gonna dig into it. One of the things, if they're saying something about their wife or their husband, I'll say, oh, how did you meet your husband? How did you meet your wife? And I'm getting them now to tell me their backstory. Again, always looking for commonalities that I can share with them, okay? This is the art of being a great conversationalist. And listen, you don't, <laughs> I'm gonna tell you, you don't need the gift of gab. You don't have to be a natural when it comes to being a conversationalist. You just have to be interested in other people and ask them questions about themselves. How'd you get involved in that? How did you guys meet? Uh, what do you like best about what you do? And there's, think about all these questions you can give that are open-ended, that can get them to talk about themselves. So listen, I hope you enjoyed this. We'll go back to the question. If you tuned in a little bit late, the prospecting question that got me involved in network marketing, it's the same question that I've used to enroll a lot of people, is this. Have you ever thought about being in business for yourself? As soon as they say yes, say awesome. Well, listen, put your number down and let's talk business sometime. I'm a business coach. I help people start businesses or, you know, I've got an opportunity. I'm looking for some business partners. It might be perfect with your background. Okay. If you find out their background first, you can use that. Okay. So listen, that's it, my friends. If you enjoyed this, share it, hit the like and the love button. If you feel like it can add some value to some others, obviously share it and hop over to mattmorris.com. Join my newsletter and you'll get uh, tips delivered to your inbox every single week. Appreciate you guys tuning in. Let's go have an awesome day. Take care.